Hi! Hello! <laughs> How are you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thank you for coming. Well, thank you for having us. And oh. since we have only three minutes, I suggest we get down to business. All right. Um, how long have you been living in this neighborhood for? Uh, since 1999. All right. 17 now, years. That's a long time. How would you describe it? Well, it's a typical Upper East Side, uh, wealthy, boring neighborhood. Boring? Yes. Oh, what's so boring? Well, it's quiet. We have a guard on the street, and uh, there are not a lot of restaurants or bars uh, within a couple of blocks, so uh -huh. it's uh, really uh, boring. <laughs> Can we, um, do you mind if we sit no, down come on just in. for a minute? You're welcome. Um, but are there any unexpected things you can actually experience around this area? Not much. It's uh, pretty quiet yeah. and uh, not unexpected. Uh, if we go down to uh, 2nd Avenue, sometimes there's some uh, uh, action down there. There's some nice restaurants and bars, but uh, we, don't, uh, we don't go down there. What's your favorite restaurant in total in New York? Uh, Blanca. It's in uh, Bushwick in Brooklyn. It's a Michelin two-star restaurant. We go uh, two or three or four times a year. It's uh -huh. absolutely magnificent. Nice. And talking about eating, where do you take your guests if you have dinner parties? Well, uh, we often eat it down in the kitchen, but when we have a dinner party, we uh, usually come in the dining room. This is gorgeous. And, uh, we have Christmas and uh, Thanksgiving dinner here, yeah. and sometimes we have book parties. and. Uh, We've had some parties here where we had some authors uh, talk about their books, so that's fun. Very nice. Yeah. Now, I know that you have been working with sales for a long time. So yes. if you were to pitch New York City to anyone who hasn't been here before, what would you say? Uh, it's the greatest city in the world, most diverse. Uh, the arts and the culture and the theater are the best in the world. Uh, the Metropolitan Museum of Art is uh, the greatest museum in the country. Uh, for modern art, of course, MoMA, <coughs> and the theater is magnificent. That is a great pitch. So, theaters, are those, uh, is that one of your favorite things to do here? Yes, my number one thing to do. Yeah. I also know that you have been to the Burning Man. Yes, I have. Do you have something that reminds you of your time with Burning Man or in that thing, festival? Well, uh, my students love the 15-minute documentary called Charlie Goes to Burning Man. Right. So, uh, they, when they take my course, they say, oh, I saw you at Burning Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I saw that you have more floors here. It's a big space. Yes. We, we have, have four a sneak four. peek onto the second floor. Sure, you can go come to the second floor. Come on up. And while we walk there, do you mind telling me um, your three favorite plays? My three favorite plays currently on Broadway are uh, Coriolanus. Uh, it's at the Red Bull Theater, and then uh, <coughs> we I, we really like the uh, Les, uh, Liaisons Dangerous with Liev Schreiber. And, and Janet McTeer, it was wonderful. This time. is my favorite piece of art, by the way. Oh, you know, time is up. But I, we can see that there's a big, big, beautiful space. Yes. But next time, I hope we can get up here. <laughs> but okay. we have to go now. All righty. Um, on the way out, can you give, because you, um, you have some life experience, one advice for everyone who wants to stay young for their whole life? Yes, don't retire. Never retire. Never retire because uh, <clears throat> I've tried it and it's so boring. Right. <laughs> well, thank you so much for having us. Okay, thank now you for enjoy coming. Enjoy your day. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>